Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create instant image viewer uh, before uploading the image to the server. We just see the image that we are going to upload and as well as replace the original HTML5 file uh, selector or file input view. So we will use uh, Telvin CSS and Alpine.js and one line of pure javascript so it will be so easy and fun and you will get this cool element and this cool feature in your website or web application like if we just click on the change button and select a new image and just click there you can see that the image changed instantly and we got this so let's dive into it as you can see uh, i have linked telvin css and upon js and they are installed in my this project i'll give uh, the link in the description for the video to set up telvin css and alpine js that is easy and fun and don't worry about that so let's start uh, doing uh, today's trick and let's start with the div let's give it a class of width of about 32 and a height of about 32 and a border uh, border color of blue like 500 and let's say it be rounded uh, LG uh, and just for the top section let's see what we got uh, on the browser yeah we got such thing in our browser and and uh, okay inside that let's create an image section and give it a source and image let's take it online from the pixabay let's copy the link and put it in the source and give it a class of width full and the height let's say let's uh, height of full as well okay and now let's check where we are uh, so it's time to uh, create the file input let's say if we just create a simple input so because form we have to create the form tag first and then the input and if we just take the type to file let's save it and view it on the browser what we get we get such thing and we want to replace this one and as well as just make it instant to view the uploaded image there now we got nothing if we just upload take an image as well we mm, don't get anything uh, let and just replace it with a label first and inside the label let's say uh, and put a spin of just call it change and under that let's type the input and the type to file and let's just uh, give it a class of the shocking hidden class and let's save it and just refresh it on the browser yeah now when we click on the change oh we get nothing so that is because we have the four and we have the input let's give it an id of image and let's mm, call the id here let's save it and refresh as you see it's now okay and it, uh, on clicking uh, by clicking on the change we can get uh, get the uh, select select option so now we can just customize uh, this portion of there so for first of all let me bring this image part uh, inside our form and now we can just make it cool let's say the class be flex for uh, to bring this image and label uh, together and flex type should be column for our label let's give it a class and just say width of full and now let's see it on the browser okay so nothing changed because we don't have any background color or nothing so let me mention a background color for our level bg blue 500 will be okay okay now let's see yeah we got the full so now just changing the uh, rounded option so rounded bottom uh, edge and they should be about lg according to the top bringing the text into the center so just a text center and we get the text let's say uh, mx auto 
and automatically it is into center now it's time to have fun and change the color so we're using alpine js for the alpine first we have to just give it x data to just say that our source for our image should be the the default image uh, i'll give it a default image for this one here and uh, bind that source here for our image so the link that we use here is is completely fine and i'll cut it from here and paste it inside our source variable on the x data of the alpine js and for this image take i'll just put it a colon here to bind the source here okay that is it let's save it and see if nothing nothing changed that's it means that everything is fine and now we'll cover this section and say on change this means that on change and if this section changed so what should be done and now we'll say if something changed here the source should be uh, like equal to this and for now for just instance i'm putting blank so let's say if uh, something happens there should be nothing if i change and select another image let's say this one okay that is fine it means that the source one the source variable is empty now so let's just change it with something else when we change something in the input and even happens and that is where we can get uh, the url of the object with this javascript feature so let's go and just say url dot object to url so we just get create object url create object url and after that let's give it pass it the event so in alpine js the event is uh, like global and we can just uh, get event dot target and dot files uh, okay in the files array we can just get the uh, first uh, element of the array which will be the file name and the location so that will be converted to url and that will be put in the source and the source for that image that's it for everything let's save it and refresh it on the browser now when we change the image and select another image for example this one let's see yeah we didn't get anything let's see if i'm forgetting anything everything is looking fine and, and, and let's see the browser okay let's copy this one okay yeah we got here this must be and capitalize let's save it and check it on the browser refresh it change it again select another image and let's see yeah, we just got this hope you like it and that was it for this video so thank you very much